other day, the CS Sangilu announced a number of names, individuals believed to be behind the Langata land grab. Mm. Uh, across the board, there seems to have been, you know, skepticism over whether these are really the individuals behind the same. Do you share in that, or do you believe this? Uh, largely the seeing we had quite a number of do those. you remember what uh, the minister Ngilu said before she dropped those names uh -huh. she said she was going to give the name behind the names yes and she reported that, yes she was reported to have said that and have reason to believe she said it then she gave the names now we're waiting for the name behind the names okay which she hasn't given so do you think and, there's uh, another name i'm sure there is definitely there is and mm -hmm. uh we know who it is. Uh, we have simply uh, exercised a restraint in not saying who it is, but we know who it is. But is it, it is. because you yes. don't have evidence to prove? Because remember, on the current land issue, yes. your part of your membership went ahead and named an individual and then was sued and appeared not to well, have evidence. Well, I was evidence. not part of the you are not team, part of but it, it was my code team. Yes. Uh, and they have uh, definitely facts to defend themselves successfully in court, and I'm sure they will. So you're in not this particular case, mm -hmm. uh, you know very well that uh, there is a hotel next to the school uh, playground. We know who owns the hotel. Uh, there's some impositor who has come forward claiming that he owns the hotel. We know he doesn't. We know who owns the hotel. And we know how the hotel land was acquired. In fact, there is a big question on how that hotel land was acquired and it's before a parliamentary committee. So rules of parliament may not uh, permit me to... Mm. Uh, discuss that matter beyond what I've said, but there's a matter before a committee of parliament questioning how the parcel of land on which the hotel stands was acquired. And uh, we have been told that... So uh, if you know, yes, um, why are you not coming forward with this information? Because some other people claim to know that it's clear, uh, but everyone is just knowing and then the situation in life is... This information is in public domain. Uh, the clips uh, of videos doing the rounds showing, uh, for example, the deputy president inspecting the construction of the hotel and showing how it should be He'd done. He argued he so was doing it so at a friend's land. It uh, was friend. Let him the say The man so. who's come out to say he owns We know that city. man and we know he doesn't own the hotel. So now that you know we that, where is that country. evidence? Why don't you give we that to the members of the country. public who do not have I that I am advantage. not litigating on any matter. Okay. I am speaking but from... But you are politicians. I'm speaking elected from by Kenyans. a position of public interest. When I speak from a position of public interest, I bring information and put it at the disposal of the public. But when and it's the public, not backed up, then the it doesn't help. And the public will pick it up and use it or disregard it. As to this matter of the land along Langata Road, as a leader in this country, in court and my party and in the Senate, mm -hmm. I do not have the legal instruments to revoke a land title. Those are vested elsewhere in the National Land Commission. In but the, you could, as yeah. you claim to have evidence, you could submit the same to these bodies that then are charged with you that see, kind of responsibility. You do not say and submit what is obvious. The Minister for Land knows this. The, obvious to you, the National but not Land obvious Commissioner perhaps to the... Knows this. Okay. The school at Langata, even little kids, that's why they brought down that wall. They knew that a land grabber was on the prowl against their playground. That's why they rose But isn't that simply politicizing did. matters, uh, Senator, Not before we move on? Because yes. when you say everybody knows this, knows this, it is yes. just becomes part of dialogue that everybody will have. But at the end of the day, then nothing is done because people will talk about it and move on. But if you surely have information or yes. this evidence to prove mm -hmm. otherwise, why not bring it forward in the interest of this public uh, that you say you are representing? We live in a political setup. Whether a matter is said by a politician or a non-politician, mm -hmm. there is always this conclusion that we are politicizing the matter. In fact, we are not politicizing anything. We are being factual. Mm -hmm. One, we have said it's immoral to take away a playground from school children. Number two, it is immoral for people to distinguish themselves as land grabbers and be on the prowl everywhere. Uh, scouting for any empty land. Three, we are saying there is some degree of unacceptable incompetence in the management of our land system, both at NLC and the ministry, where, for example, I can, I can tell you, if you see 
a minister for lands going to climb a lady going to climb over a wall to demonstrate that she's working then something is wrong somewhere because a minister is supposed to sit design and execute policy and have people working under her or him to do the job but when you see a lady being helped to climb over a wall ostensible to demonstrate to the public that she's working to recover stolen land, it flies in the face of reason. Do you think there's political will to deal with the mess in land in Kenya? There, there is no political will. I don't see it. And I don't think anybody is interested in solving many of these land problems. So For example, one, yes. when uh, Swazuri said that he had renewed the 30,000 acres of land for the president's family mm -hmm. and went on to justify how small it was. One would have expected a conscious president mm -hmm. to come forward and comment about it mm -hmm. because he knows how contentious this matter is. He's kept a studious silence on the matter. He won't say, he won't see, he won't do. And we know he will not because of vested interests. We can count many examples so all over where you, land issues are so contentious people have been killed people have been maimed mm, it's people have yes. been dispossessed yeah and we continue behaving as if it's business as usual it definitely is an emotive issue in this country